I'm still learning, so I definitely uh, don't want to say that I know it all. But at the same time, um, I feel three things have been so important in, in my uh, journey forward. And I think uh, one of those things is definitely seeking mentorship and networking and volunteering as much as possible. Um, I, a lot of people uh, look at volunteer experience. It's something that you may have just uh, you know, engaged in very, you know, in a minor way and, and not really made a big impact. But I think volunteer work just shows so much dedication and commitment and, and to skill building and to contributing. And I think service and mentorship are super strong foundations in, in being a successful uh, professional, no matter what uh, career it is that you're pr pursuing. Um, but to, to talk about peace building uh, specifically, I think the other two things that are super important. Um, one is, listen, I, I wanted to go to the UN and I wanted to do foreign policy and I wanted it so bad as an early graduate. But the opportunity came in a male dominated manufacturing, auto manufacturing industry. And I was scared and I was terrified, but I took it because at the end of the day, even though it was so foreign to me, the industry, everything was so foreign to me, my skills were so valuable that it allowed, it challenged me to utilize my skills and yet learn about a whole new industry and how to apply my skills to it. And I, so I feel like um, early, uh, early graduates should take any opportunity that comes their way, even if the title mat doesn't match, or if, you know, the the opportunity is not really what they wanted or passionate about because it will give them the perspective and the skills and the challenges that they need to overcome um, by applying their skills to a completely different world because the world of peace building is dealing with a lot of unknowns. And if you can master the muscle or build the muscle to face the unknown utilizing just your skills, that's extremely powerful. Um, and it builds a very strong foundation. Um, but lastly, I think that another thing that's super important is being um, grounded and humble and knowing that uh, it's going to be a tough road and, and really being building that strong, you know, thick skin to, to really know that there are a lot of challenges ahead. This is not an easy industry to be a part of. So just realistic expectations is super important. Yeah, that kind of... Um it either encourages you to push forward or it makes you step back. But I think the right person would push forward because um, it is definitely a challenging field. Whether you choose, wherever you're dealing with people's um, emotions and well-being, uh, it's going to be hard, hard work. Um, so whether you do it internationally or locally, even um, within your very local community, uh, his building won't be easy. So I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, yeah, I think to wrap it up in one sentence, like you just have to be certain about your ability to tango with the uncertain. Um, right. I think that's just uh, something that definitely, it's a metaphor that I always think of when it comes to peace building. It, if you're going to engage in it, that's the motto, I think. Right. Yeah, I, I agree. Because uh, things unfold as you go. So 